What's up friends, welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for joining me yet again for another Breaking Bad episode today. This is episode 5 of season 1, and there's only 7 episodes, so we're almost done with the first season, and I'm just loving the show so far. If you guys have been watching along, you already know that. But last episode, we had a few cool, crazy things happen. We obviously met Jesse's family, saw a little bit more of where he came from, a little bit of his backstory, which I really appreciated. Definitely feel a little bit more connected and related to his character now. And obviously, Walter has the potential treatment that he could possibly get now. We'll see if he ends up doing it or not. It's got a big price tag attached to it, so definitely has some reservations about it. I thought last episode at the end that that might be what pushes him back into the meth game with Jesse. So we'll see if that ends up being the catalyst for that. Obviously, his experiences so far over the course of the season have definitely pushed him in that direction as at the end of the episode he kind of took matters into his own hands became a little vigilante for a second blowing up that guy's car that was rude and whatnot earlier in the episode so he's definitely a changed man so far and if you're new to the channel thanks so much for stopping by and checking it out i do movie and tv show reactions several times a week so if that's something that you enjoy watching definitely consider hitting that subscribe button turning on that notification bell so you can know when i upload my next videos but for those of you who are subscribed and are returning again thanks so much appreciate your support and also if you would like to watch along with me for the entire episodes definitely check out my patreon link in the description that's where you can find the full-length reaction to all of these as well as the other stuff from my channel but without further ado let's go ahead and get into episode five here's my resume um i mean technically it says uh curriculum vitae which i think is more professional but uh jesse looking dapper i have a solid background in uh in sales I'm pretty much a self-starter, so <laughs> that's excellent. That's one way to put it. What you'll be doing is more like advertising. Oh gosh, he's gonna be that little mascot thing out there. <laughs> yeah, that's a no-go for my guy Jesse. I've been out of the business for a while, thinking about retiring. We could partner up. No pressure. No pressure. Just think about it, all right? Seems like a bad move to me. Dang, it's crazy how recognized and i guess respected jesse is in that community because so many people seem to have connections with him or have gotten stuff from him in the past so he must be a pretty big deal shoot he's getting back into it with that guy i mean seems to me like a pretty massive step down from walter terms of quality partners. Oh, oh it's been ages. Oh it's, so, oh, it's so good to see you. <laughs> Wait a second. That's the girl from the flashbacks, isn't it? The flashback has been a couple episodes in the past, so my memory is not the best of what she looked like. I remember this one time we were stuck on this protein problem for, for weeks. You just breezed right in. Walter always seems super uncomfortable when people talk highly of him or compliment him. So you run the company with Elliot? Oh, no, uh, no, that's that's Gretchen and, and Elliot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I gravitated toward education. Dang, so did this guy like push Walter away or did she? Because based off his reaction, he doesn't seem super happy about missing out on that. Oh no. Oh, this is from Walt. Man, I hate this so much. I've been in so many parties in this situation and it's the most awkward feeling. Yum good ramen. This is what Walt and I lived on while we were working on our thesis. These noodles were responsible for our success. I love it. Thank you, Walt. Oh wow, well that was an unexpectedly great moment. That was pretty touching. Based off all this, it seems like they were really close back in the day. You and I should work together again. Are you asking me to come work for you at Grey Matter? Yeah, why not? That seems just what he needs right now at this point when he's strapped for money. I have some personal issues. But there's nothing we can't work out. We, we have excellent health insurance. 
That's exactly what he needed to hear right there. Take the job. Your family's gonna be set if you do it. He knew something was wrong with you, and he pressed me. Well, how about you just said he's fine, huh? I get where he's coming from, but it's definitely not the situation to be prideful in, especially when you need that kind of help right now. Hmm. Ready to go? I'm taking the bus. Bye, honey. Walter's relationships have just gotten more strained since he quit the drug business. I would have thought they would have repaired themselves. Obviously, the cancer news doesn't help. Interesting contrasting the mood of the edit and the music from when he was first working with Walter in the first episode. And I gotta say, we're in episode 5 now, and this is only the second time we've seen a meth cooking sequence, which is not what I was expecting going into the show. There's surprisingly a lot more depth and different storylines. This Kankenstein is unreal. When we get back, I'm gonna burn that dollar bill suit because we're gonna make some mad dough. <laughs> Looks nothing like what he was cooking before. Ah! <laughs> I totally want to smoke that! Look, it's not for you, it's for our customers. They're gonna demand a certain standard. As soon as Jesse steps into the head roll of the partnership, he just basically turns into what he saw from Walter. Shows the kind of effect he had on him. Walt, please have a seat and join us. That would feel so weird walking in seeing that. At least there's appetizers though. This decision you've made is not only not in your best interest, it's not in the best interest of our entire family. It's the bottom of the ninth, bases are loaded, but you've got a bum arm. There's no freaking way you're gonna hit a homer, okay? So you can either let the pinch hitter take the bat, or you can hold on to your pride and lose the game. Get what I'm saying? No. Oh, come on, Walt. I was going to say, this guy's starting to speak my language. Such a guy moment, man. Know how he feels so hard to talk deep feelings with your bros. I'm pissed off. Tell him. You're like, ready to give up. What if you gave up on me, huh? All the stuff I've been through, you're scared of a little chemotherapy? Dang, bro, what a moment. That was some powerful stuff. I was starting to feel it there big time. Some incredible acting on top of that from both Walter Jr. and Walter. Walt's the one with cancer. It's his decision. It's not up to any of us. I x-ray people in treatment. Some of them are absolutely miserable. Marine. Shoot, dude. I thought we had actually made some real progress walter jr had him like ready to say he's gonna do the treatment right there and now it's all gone to crap my entire life it just seems i never you know had a, had a real say all i have left is how i choose to approach this for what time i have left i want to live in my own house i want to sleep in my own bed oh wow so he really doesn't want to go through with it then some dead man some artificially alive and that's how you would remember me. I'll admit, I was hating on his decision earlier, but I can definitely understand his reasoning. See where he's coming from at this point. Can still see Skylar's side of the argument, though, as well. I choose not to do it. That is not what I was expecting. And can I just say, that scene was unreal because... I felt like I wasn't watching a TV show anymore. The writing and the acting was so perfectly done and felt so real. I felt I was just watching a recording of a real family having a conversation. That was an amazing scene. We really got an in-depth look at how all the characters are feeling about the issue, which isn't something that we often get from a show or a movie. Usually we'll only get a look into one or two of the characters' minds. All right. I'll do the treatment. Whoa! Dang, that did not last long. It only lasted like a minute and a half from telling us he wasn't going to do it. I mean, does it go back to what he was saying about making his own decisions? Maybe that was his process that he wanted to make that decision first so that he could really feel like he was choosing it in the end that's my guess well it's gretchen he, he'd offered to pay for the treatment you 
have to accept that money, as far as we're both concerned, belongs to you. That's a good point. I hadn't really considered that before. Is this about you and me? I was right about them. It is the girl from the flashbacks. As it turns out, the insurance came through after all. So, uh, I am covered. Walter, man, why are you doing this to yourself, my guy? Brian Cranston's acting is so phenomenal in this. Like, I don't even see him as an actor. I just see him as that character. I knew it! This dude really gonna go back to cooking meth now to pay for the bill. Wanna cook? Oh. Walter. Freak, man. You had the perfect opportunity to go back to kind of a normal life without any bad loose ends or regrets. Just could have taken the money from your friend and that would have been it. But getting back into the meth game, that's some really risky business. I feel like at this point it's kind of pointless to say what my favorite episode is because I feel like each episode becomes my new favorite episode. It just gets better and better as I watch and I really really loved this episode. Again, the character moments and the dialogue between characters whether it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation or a big group conversation that's just the highlight of the show to me so far and i really can tell that this show cares about developing each one of their characters like there's not a single character in the show at this point that i feel is underdeveloped or one that i don't care about or know enough about to be invested in them. Even minor characters like the girl from the flashbacks or his friend, I feel like even in their brief moments, they did a great job introducing them to where I know about them and I can see how they fit into the story. And so I really love the writing of the show. The acting is unbelievable. As I mentioned while I was watching it, that intervention scene had just some amazing acting, especially from a TV show. Not that TV shows are bad, but I'm not used to seeing such universally quality acting from an entire cast, especially all together in one scene. There are definitely plenty of shows that have great acting, but I feel like it's rare to find such a talented cast in my opinion especially so early on this is only episode five usually it takes some time before the characters really start firing on all cylinders and so i am absolutely loving it love the actors love the acting love the writing definitely a big moment there at the end with walter coming back to jesse after a couple episodes of being apart and asking if he wants to get back into the meth game. At this point, Jesse is 100% ready, in my opinion, to get back into it after dealing with his very brief partner there and realizing that he doesn't enjoy cooking anymore unless it's Walter because of the quality that they were achieving. As far as Walter's motivation for being ready, I can understand where he's coming from. It's tragic that he turns down the other money so he can start cooking again to get his money that way. So maybe I'll learn a little bit more about why he chose that one in particular, that decision or that path, because I felt like he'd perfectly gotten out of that earlier situation and luckily didn't have any sort of people following him or anything else that was coming back to bite him from those days so i'm worried for him now because i feel like if he gets back into it it's just gonna be a horrible situation for him so we'll see only two more episodes in the season so i'm excited to see where the story continues to go the episodes are really starting to surprise me with the directions they're going and some of the twists or things that they're doing 
And so I can't wait to watch the next two. If you enjoyed watching my reaction to this one, definitely consider leaving a thumbs up. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people. So I appreciate you who do that. And if you'd like to watch along with me for the entire episodes, definitely check out my Patreon link in the description. That's where you can find that, as well as full length reactions or commentaries to the other stuff from my channel. But until the next episode, I will see you all later. Peace.